This is my car, and these are my wheels. Gross, right? Today I'm gonna show you exactly how I turn them from this pile of junk into these shining beauties. Let's get started. So this process is so simple, you really only need a couple of things. Some sort of metal polish and some steel wool. Now it's important to note that when getting your steel wool, you make sure it's the super fine wool, labeled with four zeros. Anything other than this may scratch your wheels. The only other thing you might need is a microfiber towel. Now the backside of my wheels are super dirty, so I'm actually gonna be starting there. But if you wanna skip to the wheel face, then go ahead and skip to this timestamp. So first I'm gonna take a wire wheel brush on my drill and I'm gonna remove all the initial dirt and gunk on the inside of the barrel. Now be careful if you do this because this will scratch your wheels. I'm just not worried about it because I got these wheels for a super cheap and plus the inside is actually textured so the scratches aren't gonna show up as much. Now I'm not a perfectionist by any means, so this is good enough for me, but if you want your own wheels to be a little bit cleaner, then just spend a little bit more time on it and almost all of the gunk should come up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the barrel and I'll bring you guys back and we'll move on to the face of the wheel. Now that the barrel's all finished up, it's time to move on to the important part face of the wheel. Now we're not going to use a wire brush because we don't want to scratch up the front of the wheel so we're going to jump straight to using a piece of steel wool. So all we're going to do is take a piece of steel wool and start gently scraping all of this gunk off. And as you can see, after just doing this for a few seconds, the chrome already looks 10 times better than it did before, and you don't even need to use a whole lot of pressure either. The steel wool does a great job on its own. That's how easy this really is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on this for a few more minutes, and I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you the results. So I actually taped off half the wheel to show you guys a 50-50 of the before and after. But first, we have to polish the clean side of the wheel. So after you use the steel wool, you actually wanna rinse off the wheel because you wanna make sure you get all of the little bits of steel wool off of it, because if you leave those on there, they can end up causing surface rust on the wheel and you don't want that. Now you can just use a water hose and spray off the wheel but I don't have access to a water hose at the moment so I'm just gonna dump water on it. Then you're just gonna wanna take a dry part of your microfiber and wipe off the rest of the polish. And just like that, this side is polished. So let's go ahead and remove the tape and show you guys what it looks like. So I don't know how well that's showing up on camera, but it is a night and day difference between the non-polished side and the clean polished side. And that is after just only a few minutes of work. And that is just how easy this process really is. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up cleaning and polishing the wheel and then I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you the final results of how the wheel comes out. So here's the wheel after completely going over it with steel wool and polish. Now remember, I did tell you guys that I'm not a perfectionist, so there are definitely imperfections on this wheel, especially in the tight corners that were hard to reach. But I'm not really concerned about that and I am beyond happy with how they came out. As you guys can see, this very simple method can completely change the look of your chrome wheels, as long as they're not too damaged or pitted. Which brings me to something you guys might be wondering about. Unfortunately, all of these little blemishes are some form of rock chip or pitting that isn't so easy to repair. If you're wanting to fix a similar issue on your own wheels, then you're gonna have some more work in store. Luckily for me, this is a drift car, so I'm not too concerned about that. But let's go finish up the other three wheels and see how they look on the car. So as you guys can see, the wheels came out absolutely beautiful with very minimal amount of effort and they look so much better than they did when I picked them up from Facebook. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments what you'd want to see next and click on this video right here if you want to see how I actually totaled this car. See you.